I want to give you a new name. What's your name? Come on, say it loud. Let's cause some chaos in here. Oh, my God. Hey. <laughs> What's your name? Oh. <laughs> you want to cause a riot, just say that. Hallelujah. My name is Thomas. Yes, yes. But, but God wants to give us a new name. The Bible even talks about you'll receive a new name later. But that's in the heavenly realm. But I don't want to go to that. I want to talk about right now. God wants to give us a new name. And that name is success. Lift your hand to God and say, My name is success. From this, morning, from this morning, for the rest of my life, of my life I, will I will become successful. Is that powerful? Does that make you feel good when you say that? Yes. Say, I am rich. I am rich. I'm not poor. I'm not poor. Okay, say, I'm poor. I'm not. Say, I'm poor. I'm not. You're not. You, you refuse. I know. Okay. But if you say you're poor... It feels horrible. But when you say I'm rich, say I am rich. I am rich. Say I'm blessed. I am blessed. It feels good, right? Yes. Now, I'm going to speak for a couple of minutes, but I'm going to I'm going to um, I'm going to pray that God helps you to Become very, very successful. Lift your hands. The anointing is here. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is here. Wow, the presence of the Lord. The presence of the Lord. Right now. Father, I pray. Father, I pray for all these young men. That you'll raise them up to be great people. They'll be agents of change in the society. But first, they'll change within themselves. The problem that needs to be solved first is the problem of me. Someone say me. me. That's the first thing that needs to be fixed. See, we think about many times everybody else except ourselves. And this is a big mistake. Someone say this with me, the biggest mistake I can make. Say, the biggest mistake, the biggest mistake I, can I can make is worrying about, else, worrying about everything else except my own life. My own life. Yes. Now, I'm not telling you to not care about other people and other things. You need to. But the funny thing about God is he gave us power to be great on the earth. Yes? yes? And if we don't work with it, it doesn't happen. Right? Lift your hands again. Lift your hands. Father, I thank you for the touch of heaven. Just pray right now in your own way. Just say, Lord, 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 let me catch this. Say, Lord, let me catch this. Lift your hands to God. Say, Lord, let me catch this. There's a scripture in Song of Solomon that the wise king Solomon wrote in the first chapter. And it talks about this beautiful woman who was a, a worker in the vineyards. And she said, they made me keeper of the vineyard, but my own vineyard I've not kept. I've not taken care of it. And she was very ashamed. Don't be like her. She was a beautiful lady, very talented, very, had a lot of ability. But she didn't concern herself with her own business, her own destiny, her own life. And she lost something. Now, one thing you guys have as an advantage is your youth. You know, the scripture says... Don't let anybody despise your youth. You have a tremendous advantage in being young. Wave your hand and say, thank you, Lord, Father. 
Thank you, Lord. I'm still young. I'm very young. In fact, you're babies in eternity. You're, you're like babies. You're, you're so young. Yeah. But the things that God wants to teach you about life and power and success and becoming successful, he doesn't want you to have it later. He wants you to have it from today. Lift your hands. I prophesy over you that, Father, I'll see these, these guys again sometime. But you're going to arrange it. And many people throughout the nation of Kenya, I feel so good about it. I feel the anointing. I want to speak to the next generation, and I want to teach the principles. When I have time, we'll teach more and share about, you know, things that are important for you to move from where you are today to where God wants you to be very quickly. I pray for acceleration. I prophesy speed. Number one, the number one thing is lift your hands. Say the number one thing I need to know. Sound is very good right there. Don't touch it. The number one thing I need to know. Say the number one thing. Is to know the will of God. Not the big picture for the world. But the big picture for me. Hit yourself and say me. Now, I'm not even going to tell you to hit your neighbor. I'm not going to do that right now. Hit yourself again. Make, feel pain. Make some noise. Hit yourself and you feel the sting on your skin. Me, 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 me. Yes. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I prophesy that the Holy Ghost will show you exactly what it is. Man, these, these, these kids want... Philomena, these kids are wonderful. You're just so, you're so ready. You're, you're, you know the, yes, you're so ready. I, I'm amazed. Woo, hallelujah. You know, the old people, the older people, they sit there looking at you like, you guys are just switched on. I noticed something about children in Kenya too. The babies are very smart. Do you know that? Even the, what do you call it, Watotos, the little ones, they're so smart. Yeah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The little babies, they're so beautiful, they're so smart. When you talk to them, they understand. And they understand me as an American, they understand me very clearly. Sometimes the adults are like, oh, where's the Swahili? I need Swahili, huh? And the little kids, I said, talk to the kids in English. Bang. They're like, yes. You guys are like that. Be like that with the will of God. Lay your hands on yourself right now. I'm prophesying. God will show you personally. Oh, this is so powerful. Exactly what your gift and calling is. Lift your hands. Say, Father, you're going to show me exactly what my mission in life is and you're going to help me to become very very successful extremely successful in fact I won't live a poor life I'm going to live a rich life I'm going to be blessed in what I do because your hand is upon my life and Father, I don't need to concern myself with any, things, any of the things in this world. I need to concern myself with what you have called me to be and do. And then everything will work well. Let me tell you some examples from the Bible. And I got five minutes and I'll be, I'm okay. The Lord, like Joseph, Joseph was a prosperous man. In Genesis 39, because the Lord was with him. Yes? yes? Joseph. Yeah. And Abraham became very rich because he obeyed God. Lift your hands. Job said in Job 36, 11, if you spend your days serving the Lord well, everything will be good for your life. Not bad, not sad, not struggling. 
And the problems we have is with other people, sometimes with demons and other people that are evil. You need to dance around them and keep moving. Say, I will do that. Now, I pray right now that God will schedule his own appointment with you whatever time or day that's going to be. The Holy Spirit knows he's going to come to you personally and show you exactly. Yeah, say, say Lord, you're going to show me exactly what my mission in life is. Why you had me to be born on the earth. I'm going to know it so clearly. And I pray and I prophesy that even from today, some of you will have visitations from God. And you'll begin to have an awakening in your mind, an awakening in your heart. Come on, let's praise the Lord. It's all right. Well, that's the free way. Clap your hands for Jesus. Go ahead. It's wonderful. Someone shout, woo! Yeah. So, I, more later, I'll talk to you again, but that's the number one thing. And then whatever you do in life, you need to become very, 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 very extremely successful. And I pray as God's prophet, <laughs> I'm anointed. I'm a dangerous man. I am anointed. When I speak, it will happen. You know, the presence of the Lord is here. Can you feel something in the air? Can you feel something happening in the air? Lift your hands to God. Something's happening. I, I declare over you success. I declare over you protection from the enemy. I pray over you protection from the wrong people. I pray you'll not get involved with wrong things and wrong people and wrong situations. But you'll be separated unto the call of God in Jesus' name. Now let's just pray. Just lift your hands and close your eyes for a minute. Say, Lord, please visit me. Show me what my purpose is. You're, we're not just here to be here. We're not animals. You know, animals are just there. Human spirits and minds and souls have power to create things in the world. And of course, Jesus wants the harvest of souls to come to him. We could be soul winners. Yes, we'll talk about that more. But first, number one today, number one is the will of God. The will of God. Exactly what God has ordained. You will know it. If you're an evangelist, you'll know it. If you're a businessman, you'll know it. If you're supposed to be a pastor, you'll know it. If you're supposed to be a prophet, you'll know it. If you're supposed to do something innovative in industries and invent something or create something, you'll know it. And God will show you the way. In closing, one more thing. You need to study uh, the lives of great men and women, how they achieve things. Hello? Hello? And learn from them. You can't look around in the wrong environment expecting to get brilliant there. If you want to become intelligent and brilliant and knowledgeable, you have to go where it is. Lift your hands. I pray and I prophesy over you that God will show you. You know, there's more to what you learn in school. You can learn things out there. Study the lives of people that were great in industry. Study the lives of people that are great in ministry. Study the lives of people that are great in things in the world that they've achieved and accomplished. And I want to prophesy and tell you, you can do it too. I said you can do it too. Let's shout to the Lord right now in Jesus' name. Let's shout to the Lord right now in Jesus' name. Stand up, stand up everybody. Stand on your feet right now. All right, God bless you. I love you. My name is Thomas Manton IV, all right? And uh, 
thomasmanton.com, T-H-O-M-A-S-M-A-N-T-O-N, my name, dot com. And there's a world of information for you to learn. I love you all. I'll talk to you again. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Stretch your hands out toward me right now. Father, I thank you for the touch of heaven that these sons of God, you sons of God, you're going to know what it is that God has ordained for you to do in new ways from today in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, thank you for the touch of heaven. Everybody say, Jesus. Jesus. I, receive I receive your gift of salvation. You're going to be my king and my Lord. And the devil's defeated forever and ever. And I thank you, Lord, that you are my king and my Lord in a greater way from today. I give my life to you, and I receive your life. I receive your resurrection power. I'm your son forever. I'm born again. I belong to Jesus, not to the world, not to the devil, but to you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for saving me. I love you, Lord. And I will work for you. I will serve you. I will find my calling. And I will work hard to fulfill your will in and through my life. For your glory forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. Dear brethren, in Psalms 119.105, the Bible says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Truly, God has sent prophet Dr. Thomas Manton IV to proclaim and declare his word of abundance and prosperity prophetically unto the nations. Thus, brothers and sisters in Christ, I urge you, just as the Bible says in Matthew 10, 41, whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet reward. Let us welcome and embrace the prophet of God by supporting his ministry. You can sow a seed, you can send your love offering, you can support or partner in the ministry program using the details displayed on your screen. For when the prophet of God decrees a blessing upon you, indeed, you shall be blessed.